Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, Terry Cruz here, and Son of Beast here. This is NHL Rival Week on EA Sports, and this is where it all comes into now. Because this is what the next Rival Week is, but sadly, this is the last one that we are doing of this year in 2024. That's because right now we're ending in to the postseason of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. And this will be my first time to take a look of the postseason in a playoff mode. And now this is where the last one comes in, and unfortunately, this is what will happen here for the last part of the game. There are no other current teams that are facing each other. This is the only one that we have left. It's the Anaheim Ducks, and they are facing against the Los Angeles Kings of the Freeway Faceoff. The term of the Freeway Faceoff refers to a series of the game between the, between the Anaheim Ducks and the Kings. This series is, takes its name from the massive freeway system in the greater Los Angeles metropolitan area. The home of both teams, or one can travel from one team's arena to the other simply by traveling along the Interstate 5. The two teams have also faced off in the outdoor game at Dodger Stadium, in which the Ducks won an incredible shutout win 3-0. The two teams have met on only once in the playoffs during the 2014 Stanley Cup playoffs of which the Kings won four games to three, and the Kings would eventually go on to win the Stanley Cup that year. The term is a skin to the freeway series, which refers to meetings between the Los Angeles area of baseball teams, the Angels and the Dodgers. But now this is what happens. They're gonna take their, their uh, chance, and they're gonna try to see what they can do. Mm, got a great feeling about it in between. Hopefully this one will be a great Pacific team to give off to a one of our bestest game ever. Hopefully this might be a one time to another one. Hopefully we're about to be seeing that one here, just in case what we can do it for. Well this time, it's about to go down. The last two teams is the last one to be to take on for its victim. Here are your starting lineups for the Ducks and the Kings. Charles the Grox. John Gibson, the starting goaltender for the Anaheim Ducks, and Troy Terry. On the other side, we have his Anze Kopitar, Drew Downey, and Adrian Kempe. And your starting goaltender on the other side will be Talbot. Now it's time to get you down to Crypto.com Arena. Back again as we're right this ready to see who they've got. Standing by is OJ. And he'll be here alongside with Nickel. And the first commentary of the crew all belong to Tyler Beast. And the center ice will all be known to one of its great victims. And this will all be remained as it will be Woodsburg. We'll be back with the with the post-game show after the first period is concluded. And then 30 star players and statistics. Let's get on to the final rival game. Enjoy the game, folks. Playoff coming soon. Be sure to check your eyes on the calendar for coming events and for the games of who they facing against. It's the face-off time here at Crypto.com Arena. Hello everybody, OJ here along with my broadcasting partners, and this is the Rival Week on EA Sports. Well, we're about that time right now as we're ready to see the Ducks and the Kings at the arena. Face-off picked up and we are underway. For the starting group, we have Kovatar. Moving on! Sarwan puts it in for the Kings! First goal! Okay, what is this a thing? Trevor Moore really got that goal right away in this set. You know the angle of what happens now because he made a back pin, tried to blind on Gibson. He really just made that one in there. He just got the good goal right in between. 
he really thinking he never saw it ever coming right away. And there is one way that we are just looking at it. And you say that it looks like that like more really got that one with the gold. That one gonna be a sharp one to take one to take all for his uh, shock and awe moment. And if you know that Gibson was able to do that, I would never see him when he does do it. What a great reaction here for Gibson in this right now. This will be his first goal for Tyler Moore. Fires the shot. Gibson with a first save. His father will have that one bought back. The Anaheim Ducks are in control in the Kings territory. Henry Kinshaw. This one stops here but the first saving of the night. Anderson gives it over to Dowdy and now he's over again. On the other side is Byfield. That one stops again. Terry finds the cross. He now has it over there on the other side with 18 minutes. Toba with this glove save. Kupitar with the puck. Now finding Byfield. The back pass to Kopitar, saved by Gibson. There's no way to be on there, but that one may be a first one to take a look. Back in 2014, they met each other since the Stanley Cup playoffs was the longest year they've ever been playing it for. Now, I was not even concerning what the question was. Is this the thing that they really wanted to do this on their own? I've never seen anybody like that. But this was like the biggest thing that everyone was like going for that they keep on playing. In this reaction, they keep going. We have a goal! Alex Killord has that one with the first goal. Almost two under his career record. And looking to see what he can definitely do with the Ducks. Uh, that face-off win is going to be like a terrifying look. When you give it to Killorn, you know that sidestep got him easier. Look at that play. You know what happens now. The pass, switch off, and there's the blind. He passed by Toba and he just said, you know what, I'm doing it. And he had that goal. That is no way I've never seen what he's going to do. That's like a biggest thing that, you know, what happens to Alex Killor. He made that one with the first goal of his appearance. But that was in the day that he was going to try to stop on it. That was the closest game that you could ever get definitely done that. Saved by Josh Gibson. That went wide and went right down back again to Killor. Now he fights Grudas. Grudas on his way down. Lost that puck and now he finds it to Clark. Laferre over to get to Fiala. Fiala tries his way down towards the back. He slips down. Cutting up to Fiala. And right now, but can end again to McTavish. McTavish fighting his way down into the right wing. Look to find Killorn. Two for two. Saved again by Talbot. Fiala again to Kellyet. And Denault will have it. Denault goes down. Kudos with the puck. New line changes right now. He finds Beckenden. Strome with the puck. Battling for the loose puck in the chain. And there's the penalty call. This one is going to start up for the LA Kings. And they are going to have to stop that clock with 14.34 to go. Well, here's one problem. Kaliev, I think he made the interference on the call earlier. He's going to have to get in the penalty box. And it's going to be a problem for him. Not a day when you really like to be. Power play starts up for the Anaheim Ducks. For the first period of the game, as the tripping was even called on here, and that will be the first penalty kill for the LA Kings. Drew Downey finds Kempe. Clears the puck out of here. Here's Silverberg. He will have that puck now over to the deep pass to Henry Cube. Look the pass to Strom. Strom on the release man. Club stop by Talbot. We'll hold the line of play right now with only 14 and 2 to go. And we have the call. Let's have Wood Sprinty stand by. Trevor Zagross has really got some skin up to this proven and this challenging is a lot of success to take his out of bed and to do his skilling him up with the challenge. The rare technique is the higher range to keep on going. But the higher range is about the book and it will be a hard one to take all of his pressure and can take for a lot of timing to do for his uh, skills and the setup 
to make the routine. I'll find out if Travis Grass had that power play to keep on running. Pushes down as Grass has it. That went way off the mark. Grass, cover cut, takes the puck steal. Here's more. Clears the puck out. Mitoku again to Kilor. Oh, slide down right over the right hand, the board side, and to Grass with the rebound. Here's Terry shot, saved by Talbot. Moore clears the puck out. 30 seconds for the Ducks power play, 13 minutes remaining in the first period. He now finds again to Kilor. Looks at Terry, sidestep it, saved again by Talbot. Looks like he's almost ready to get out there. Power plays finish for the Anaheim Ducks as now Roy brings their team back to an even strength. You know the hard part about that? It's a save to put Talbot on the rush. You know that happens most of the time. I've got a great good replay in this one in between. I know what Talbot can definitely do. When he gets that good thing down, he must have got a lot of his aggressive to take over this. I never see how well he's just doing, but hey! Don't get away with that offense if you know how to do it. Yeah, it is defensive, and I really have to maintain this. This is a, like a lot of like a, a hard inbound, you know. I really have a lot of great feeling about him. He done great. That shot's getting denied with it being clogged up, and now back again to the duck zone. Into the king side, McTavish. And he goes down. Fiala brings it back again to the null. Flicks it out of here. The Ducks will have their possession. Bucking in, you know, we'll have that puck here passing the neutral zone. Clears it out. Bally for the loose puck of the chain. Lundstrom finds a shot, saved by Talbot. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the game's still tied. Wins the face off. Drew Downey with the fucking now find Kopitar again to Byfield. Byfield looking on his way down. Near the corner finds our shot. Moore rebounded in. Gibson makes a save. This one caused the call as Byfield would have had that one to take the rebound this time. But this was not enough to get there. Close call in the range. Trying to keep that one out of here. Kopitar wins the faceoff as Clark has it. Gavrikov finds more. That one gets blocked up. Johnston recovers the puck. He takes it by Silverberg. Middle range. Gavrikov takes the puck. Back the airway is Kopitar. LA Kings into the Anaheim territory. On a shot. Rebound takes it away with a big stop on Gibson. That one's a close call to take, not a goal made. On for an hour face off as the Anaheim Ducks win it. And here's Henry Q. Henry Q right over into the right lane on the shot. Rebound, this one has been wide off. Zagross trying to look for the sidestep and stopped by Talbot. Oh, just only 8.25 left to go in the first period. Back to an hour face off in between. Wayne puts up again. Saved again by Talbot. That's a good eye in zone in this one. It, he's got a great eye in this use technique. One timer, but that safe looked to be a Talbot. He was trying to like watch out for him. I think Copley was giving him direction now. He scores! Henry Q takes that goal with the slop head in. Gets the team up in front, and he has 240 with his goal. 2 1 in the game. And he, you know what happens right now because Henry Q, he just made that one puck in a redirectional to put up it into the net. He tried to time that early, but it was too late. He had that one coming in, 
and that almost happened, but that's fire and belt combined, that's a hard shot on goal. That took it from here, right away. Adam Henrique, with that first goal release bit, puts the, puts the lead up by one. With only under eight minutes to go in the first period, and now he gives it again to Lafurry. Battling for the loose puck. Zagros has it now, back again to Lacombe. Fowler, finding Henrique. Tries to go by two on one. Oh, that was went too close. That shot gets blocked. Redirectional solid kill on the play. He now finds Roy. Kicks the puck out. Here's Eklund. Eklund finding again to Kempe. Kempe on a two on one. Shot stopped again by Gibson. Here again to Clark Kobe. And now back over again to Terry. Terry gets clogged up now and he goes back again to Byfield. Here's Kopitar. Kopitar's shot. This one is redirected wide as Gibson has that one to cover it up. Six minutes remaining in the first period. Still at a 9-2-1 over the Kings. Lots of time left in this period. Ready for another faceoff. Off to another faceoff win by Anaheim. We're trying to find McTavish and give up to Killor. Killor on his fast wheels. They're trying to shot. Hot save by Tobin. Mitrano kicks the puck to McTavish. Pucked away by Byfield. Tries to look for open passes. On a release the chain. Rebound but denied by Gibson. That's going to be hard to take. That Gibson didn't really think he was going to be out there ready to go. But that got him great from the top down the loose. Kopitar fights again. And he went down. And I ducks back in the offense zone and now gives it again to McKinn. McKinn to the right wing and a puck steal takes it over. He went down, recovered again, and now Fiala trying to go with the move. It's saved by Gibson. Load Strom, pass again to Strom. And Anderson takes the puck away. Used to know, now find Fiala with free for to go. And the shot, saved by Gibson. Fiala rebounding the puck. And now again, we'll have that one right in between. Two on one opportunity. Three minutes to go in the first period. Oh, we got that one swiped up. This was a hard hit. And now here it goes again. There's a lot of battle clashes by the Mighty Ducks and the Mighty Kings. Hopefully there's one way that we're going to have to look it over this again. I mean, come on, folks. Got to keep on flashing it down. You got to watch out for that. Kempe finds again a LaFerry. Shot, Gibson save with the glove check. LaFerry. Again to the bio shot. Saved again by Gibson. Tip pass. That shot gets blocked. LaFerry shot. Rebound takes it away with the puck and now find Johnston. Passing 90 seconds in the first period. Still 2-1 game. Move the puck valley right to the front. Clark back again to LaFerry. One minute remaining in the first period. And a save puts up by Gibson. Good rejection put back by Vitrano and now he finds again to Kalor. The Lord shot saved by Talbot. Just 41 seconds remaining in the first period. Still 2-1 game. Now for the win. Here's again to Dinagi. Dowdy. Raging in sight. Or right around the net. Lacoe finds Vitrena. Vitrena gets it over to kill Orm. Ten seconds remaining in the first. Shot saved by Talbot. This one all has to be coming in right now as Kopitar will have to give that one another solution here and we'll give that one off to Woodspinny in just a minute. After the first intermission, then we go off to the second period.
so Lido puts in for the Ducks as this one puts up a lot of takedowns in between. We'll get to the second period when we come back after the break. NHL Rival Week will continue after these messages. Welcome back to the Crypto.com Arena as we're about to get started for the second period. And off we go into the second period. With my stats in between, it looks like that those two got really good ones. We'll get you guys in just a little bit. But first, Wood Spoon. And always a good motion there for the skin up challenge here. And he has been gotten great skins for Travis Agross. He really had the motion timing and he could try to skill him up with the teammates to be clear. Alonzo Kopitar really might have to get all for his look. But the better possibility, he might have it all. These are the two I'm really looking forward into between, and I'll find out who will have the next one in. OJ, over to you. Now let's get right over into this one with you guys for the first period. You know, I have a lot of a hard feeling right now. This is not what they do to try and like sweep them out. This is no way to make an excuse out of them, and this is what nobody has ever seen what was going on. And I don't know what they will do. Because of how Zagros and the team is really like defending on it, I really have a lot of hard responses of what they are trying to do to get this thing over with. They've done a lot of hard of it, but hopefully they can try and tie it up. Well, it may not be the thing right now, but don't get uncomfortable if you do it right away. Bucket safety by Gibson. Killorn will try this again here in the Kings territory. Lose that control with the puck, Killorn back again. Puck got poked away. Gudis passing again. Shot blocked. Anderson passed again to Tobias. And he recovers it. Gets slammed by the wall. Okay, and again to Gudis. Tries to look over it again. A shot saved by Talbot. 16 12 left to go in the second period. Still a lot of time left. Lots of time left in this period to frame. It's still 2-1 Anaheim Ducks. Got a winning faceoff comes in for the LA Cleans. McTavish, he'll learn shot. That gets blocked. Finds again. Nice block by Tobin. Oh, he's been really doing well in this play. If Tobin would have known how he could get that done, I really think he, that he could definitely do it. That's a lot of great response. Off to it over win for the Kings. It's Garakov again. Tries to pass to Fiala. The backhand to Kayev. Shot. It's blocked. Fiala to the no. That saved me again by Gibson. 15 10 left to go in the second period. Still a lot of time left looking for some open room. And Gabakov will have it. Never range finds to know. And Fiala fires a shot. Gibson save. 14 40 left to go in the second period. Still a 2 1 score for Anaheim. Now, these are the two I'm looking at Talbot and Gibson. Might be the higher range than that. Alice won the face up. Bonfield shot. Saved again by Gibson. Looted strong. Again, again, right now we got to McCoy, but now I'm fighting McGinn. Clears that puck out. The Kings will have the position as Roy has it. And Moore with the puck. Gets swiped to the face almost. Oh, and McGinn. Here he goes in the fast break. Stop by another defending run on Talbot. That is really a hard one. I've never seen what was going to happen. If he was going to make that goal, I would have been surprised enough if he would have made that one clear. What a reaction. And that took him out of here clearly. Two times stopped by, by Gibson, and it goes back to Fowler. Nobody has ever noticed what they were doing. They just can't believe it, what they've got. 
That one goes right up into the net and out of play. And now for another face-off. 12.47 left to go in the second period of the game. The cold shot saved again by Downey. That one gets pumped in the corner. We'll have to wait from here and then we'll get our face up. Wayne puts up for Fowler. Right toward the corner. Now Bunchstrom will have it over again to Lizette. Lizette on his way down. Tries to keep the pass to Lewis. Over and out of Bunchstrom to tie it. This one gets blocked up. Lizette tried to help him out. And a bad can releases. And that puck stays out of the net. They still hold on. Anderson. Oh, he lost that puck this time. And now Matrano will have it. You know this is not an offense. You don't make the win, you don't get that win in choice. You can't let the night get away from you. If you lose the puck, you gotta retrieve it. Lots of time left in this period. As right now, we haven't made, made the big way mark of the period yet in the second period. Now the win puts up. Rocking in shot. Good call by Toba. We're under 11 minutes. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still 2 1. And the surprise team wins again. Kudos, open look, saved again by Talbot. And Downey will have that puck in right bounds. LaFerry to find it to campaign. And here's Tobias. The buyers don't have anyone to cover it up as a grass take that steal. Two on one opportunity. Love to save by Talbot again. You know that offense is not gonna be like a, a hard one to take. But it may have been a, like a hard way to take off to this offense. And this is not what we're doing. This is need to be on a tight schedule on this inbound. He has to do this one right over it and to what? Here's the cross. Give it back to Lebushkin. And now McCabe again to Kendrick Pugh. On a shot to Terry scores! They are up the extension. Troy Terry with the double look. Extend by two. This one fast paces right now as Troy Terry has a wide open look at the receiver. When you give up the upper corner, beating again to Talbot, he really had it right near the goalpost. And that was where he made that one clutching it. That turned to be excellent for him. Keep on going. As they extend this lead right now by two, it's a 3-1 game. Now they will win it. Drew Downey trying to look for some more room as Kempe will have it. Off to get a shot. Gibson save. Oh, he's been like a big time night. Oh, and passing a midway mark in the period of the second. The win puts up again for the Anaheim Ducks as Kempe gets it to Anderson. Anderson looking inbound, the shooting scores! Oh, what a cut inbound for Anderson! They're not done yet! This cut inbound got him really harmless right now for Anderson. He made that one a lot easier to make the point blank range. Why is that a thing? Well, because he made a sliver move, he made that one a lot easier. That's a goal to take. This is not a pressure what they're doing, but that one got clear. That was like a biggest driving. I never seen what Anderson was doing there, but that was like a big like. You have to be able to leaving on it because the Anderson would really like to make like to cut in that and take that in back. That is crazy. He now finds it off to Terry. Eight three left to go, and Fowler will have it. He finds Terry, saved! Rebound, gives it off to Anderson. And Moore will have it. More shot, saved by Gibson. 
Off again to Fowler. Eight minutes gone by in the second period. And Lindenstone. Lundstrom saved again on the backhander. Now McKinn will have that puck in into Kane's territory. Here he comes again. This one gets knocked out behind, and Byfield will have that puck in again to Doughty. Another attempt to Moore. Moore and a release shot. Kempe saved me by Gibson. Kopitar finding again to Byfield. And Fowler will have that back. Given that one a good hit off run. Oh, pick off play. Got to keep eye out of sight. Dowdy, deep pass, broken up. He finds again to kill Orr. Oh, and there, yep, there they go. It's an offside on the Anaheim Ducks. Then they're ready to do it again. Still 3 2 game in the second period. Los Angeles wins the faceoff, and now Fiala brings her team back in. Lacarvin in again to Vincharno. Vitrano into the right wing. Kick the puck out of here, and Dowdy will have it. Here's Fiala. Driving right toward the middle of the slot. Shot! Saved by Gibson. The line up again, Dowdy. On a releasing Anderson shot, good call by Gibson. He's not getting it really well at this point. He must have had, a, had his time ability. He has a good vision. Got to get a pro at it if he can. The save, center of this gliding puts a save up, and then rebound puts it in by Kalor. Here's Matredo. On a shot, he scores! Wow, Vitrano delivers it, and they're back up by two. The higher range of bounding as you know that Frank Vitrano had really had beaten it over by the defender. As you beat by, by, by Talbot, this one comes right down here after Killora. And then Vitrano, go, go and go luck. Then he gives a go ahead goal, and Alex Killorn with the assist. The officials are ready to take the ready for an arm faceoff. It's a 4-2 game as the Kings trail by two. The win, and now Clark will have it. He finds it to Fiala. Fiala to Denal. Shoots! Saved by Gibson. Denal finds Clea. And got a tough shot. Rebound again! This one way by on the mark. Shoots! Oh, wow! What a game! Insane! And he's picking up the biggest run of its mighty duck performance to stop that clock. Well, the easier way, what happens now, he had not made a lot of saves here for Gibson. That's going to be a, like a hard take that you got to go with your own. What a takeout. Fans are still ready to do an hard face off. It's a 4 2 game with 4 10 to go. He's up again. Clark. Get him cut him out. That's blocked up. Tobias, shot, save by Gibson. Still under four minutes remaining in the second period. Need to get a face off to get back in. Now they're ready to do it again. Wind puts up again. Here's Clark. That went wide off the mark. Left furry shot. One timer denied by the goaltender. Lafroy finds Clark. Here in Gavrikov shot. Saved by Gibson. Gibson's going to hold on here with only 324 left to go. Now they're ready to do this one again for another face off. Face off win puts in for the Anaheim Ducks. Mikulikov giving over again to McGinn. McGinn lost that puck, recovers again. Finds Bakula, take the rejection, Lundstrom up, saved by Tobin. Fouling for the puck in a scrimmage. 
And now look to scan, not finding it getting strong. The Bios with the steal! The poke away, and this one will stop inbound as Mikhail will have that puck. Vigilkov in the center. Poked it up again. That goes on Eglin. Eglin right over into the right wing. Looks a pass to Kempe. Blocked that shot. Roy recovers it. And that one stops again by Gibson. Eglin. Looks it in. Saved by Gibson. This really has to be like a hard one to take him down. Not everybody's good at it. They just do not want to leave it out. He scores! As a Kopitar receives a one timer goal and back down by one. This offense got really like a hard pressure. <laughs> this backhand got him pretty good. If you give it to Anze Kopitar, he's right behind the goaltender. Got him beating it through. We're only turning to be like he eats great at it. This is a lot of like a pressuring the demand. And what happens now is Anze Kopitar really got him behind him and Kampai got that girl and to make the pass and good connection in now. Just really have to keep that eyes on it if you're looking for another assist. But let's take a chance if Anze Kopitar gets another goal. Back to you. Ready for another face-off. Four threes to score. They trail by one. Now for the win for Kempe. Drew Doughty. Off to again to Moore. Moore decided to go for it. This one's blocked up again as Lacombe. Pulling back the airway. He's facing another one. McTavish with the putt. Trying to beat the shot. And good club to time this up. We are ready for the third period. All for goal, Anze Kopitar. We'll get ready for the final period after this. You're watching the NHL Rival Week on EA Sports. Hey everybody, Paintbrush here. I hope everybody's enjoying your hockey day. And this is what it all comes down into. The last one that we are looking for it and we are about to be seeing this next one coming in right now. The Stanley Cup playoffs, if you enjoying this one, it's going to be underway here soon. But if you want to catch your, uh, uh, your best plays in the game, you can check it out right in between of a playlist of the scores. Right from season one to three, and this might be the best one that you're looking for. Now, I'm not crazy enough of what is going to be happening right now, but in that case, there might be a change off if there's one way that we can definitely do to like show who's the, show who's gotten a great control out of it. Well, it may not be easy enough, but this may have been a, like a hard one to try to take. But if you're looking for another game to look for this for a suggestion, there will be a there will be a new voting that will be happening here for casting your votes for season four of NHL 25. That will be the next one here, and this one will, will open on July 3rd of 2024. Yes, that's right. July 20, July 3rd, 2024. That will be the next one. So keep your eyes on its way. And I hope that everybody is ready to do for the playoff mode. Let's find out if there is a choice off. I'll be sending you back here with another new update and for the meetup of the Anime Sandy Invitational and the BFDI as also. I'll see you all later, back again. Now, let's finish off the quarter and go right back to OJ. Paintbrush out. Third period about to begin here at Kopitar of the Crypto.com Arena. Let's do this. This is what everyone does for now. We finish off with the last quarter. Let's have you take here for the first, second period recap of what they did. You guys, take it over. You know how obvious I could definitely say that Anze Kopitar really got that one with the goal impression. And just had to be one by one. The tough feeling is they've really been showing up their dominating performance. 
every year, they get to do what they've done. He scores! What do you have to do right now, Sigros? He had that goal right away. Back up by two. I've never seen what Sigros was doing. It looks like it was covered up. But when you go right in between to skill that up, crawls it in for the puck, and watch what happens. It came out of the net. It just hit the pad from its glove. And that one goes right again to Trevor Zagross. That has to be a goal right away. I can't believe what they tell you now. But that is not a choice option. They were really are picking up the dust. That is crazy. Down the win again here for the Caves. Estraldi will have it again. The Kopitar shot. Saved again by Gibson. Donnie trying to give it again. One timer. Not enough to get in there. And he goes back again to Terry. Here's Terry. In the middle. Snap inbound by Talbot. 18-17 to go in the third period. That shut down, put the B out through Dowdy. That biggest takedown. I don't know what the cage does, but if there's a lion, you gotta get that cage out of here. Or you're gonna get caught by a duck. Anderson gives it over to Dowdy, and now he finds Byfield. Rolls around the net, and Lacombe will have it. Gives it again to McTavish. McTavish on a two on one opportunity. Buck for a loose chain. Back to Gim to kill Lauren. And I'm back the airway. Wow, what a rocket blast into the crowd. You know, they know they have to watch out for that. Yeah, be careful out there. The buckets can be flying right to your face. We don't want anybody to get hurt. No way, not at all. Now for the win, he puts again to Anderson. Now over now to Kempe. Kempe. Most of the puck possession. And McTavis will have it. Killord with the puck. 17 minutes remaining to third. Lacombe shoots. Saved by Kempe. By Tobin. And Dowdy give it again. Right on the other side to Kempe. He finds again to LaFerry. That shot gets blocked up as Fowler has that puck in bound. Fires it around the net. Anderson with the puck, again to Lafurry, and Doughty, 16 minutes to go in third. Kempe, finds a shot, Lafurry, no, that one stopped again by Gibson. With the win, here's Gabrikov. Lunded strong with the puck. 15.45 left during the third period. And again, again to McKinn. Good puck steal as Jake Payet will have that puck again to Fiala. Give off to Danelle. That one gets rejected. Fiala again. Oh, that pass saved again here by Gibson. Fiala tries again to Clark. Clark didn't have the right timing. Shoots. Saved by Gibson. Fiala releasing the cannon, rebound and scores! Kevin Fiala, rebound the puck and put it back down by one. Never seen what he do because Kevin Fiala made his rebound that clear. That sharp angle was going to be a reacting timing and he had to shoot down low. He made that good timing effort. That has to be beating over by Gibson that much. That one really has to be like a pick out look that Philip Denault really got it all. So it's still down by one, looking to tie this game by five as Clark and Denault with the assist. And Clark on his way down. Shoot! Save again by Gibson. Gunas with the puck now over right into the king's side. He goes the other way. Oh, that put the body slammed down here on ice. Kind of angel to take all of this credit. That may be a hard one. You can't stop now. Moore with the puck. Give it again to Kopitar. Finds Eklund. 
13-3 left in the third period. Shoots a shot. That went wide. Byfield saved again by Gibson. Oh, sorry, shot saved again. Byfield trying to do it again. Watching defender Rogan. Hard shot. Rebounded by Byfield. Moore blocks again. That would put too many bodies in the way. Well, there's a lot of defense. I think the Duck was trying to, like, close his gap. He's blocking it. Everybody is blocking the puck. Can't just, like, get it crouched down if you know how to do that. And that save put up here by Talbot with only 12-17 left to go in the third. Officials are getting set, ready for the faceoff. It's 5-4 and a high. Los Angeles takes a win for the faceoff as Eklund will have it now over to Kempe. Here's Kempe on his way down. To beat the off, rebound again, stop again by Gibson. Fowler finds in Gilor. Gilor, shot saved by Talbot. They're going to hold on, they cut, clear the puck. Nearing 11 for to go. And we're almost at a midway mark in the period. Wind puts up again by LA. And Eklund will have that puck now again to LaFerri. LaFerri finding Kempe. Shoots! And that went wide. Eklund final free save by Gibson. 11 06 to go in the third period. Still looking to get a goal to tie this game. Now the win for the Anaheim Ducks. Matrano with the puck. Racing towards the net. Off again, an inbound, saved off, and another stop and again by defending the redirected wide. And Kalor, saved by Talbot. LaFerrier with the puck, now back into the Ducks territory. Looking for Gap Bradley, scores! That's how you do it. First goal of this night, LaFerrier has your team on board. Furry at a clear angle. Might have been looking like clear in any fake. Passing the defender? I don't think he was gonna be able to do that. But that turned it like way clear. Great look. That shuffle skate motion and now get that go-ahead goal. He had it all. And there is a go-ahead goal. I mean you gotta say this one now that LaFerry had that goal right away. He go for it himself. Let's see get that one in there. Back there always save again by Talbot. And Killor, back and bound, and here's LaFerri. He finds Kempe. Kempe right toward the middle. To put the slot into Anderson. Should save by Gibson. Lakomi now over now. In on the other side and stroll. Past the midway mark. Goal! Oh, what a good stop by Tobin. He's having a little, like a hard aggressive to take all of this pursuit. The position is not really in turn to be like anybody else like he does. You know, I really love that one because that is a great one to take the tie game and Kupitar. And this one was LaFerri. We'll have that one puck in there. And he's thinking he wants that goal. That goal, that goal got a climatic struggle with that point. Really might have to be like all of them that he wants. Here's again the Byfield. And the Byfield lost that ball. Fowler right over into the left side of the territory. And again in Lundstrom. Lundstrom right in to the right wing. Find out strong and he scores! Back to back scores on a drop. Brian Stroh with the 146 goals. Gotta take the lead. To pressure it out. This one really has to be Ryan Strong. The idea is got kind of like a perfect shot. This angle is really not that tremendous. They really are picking up a lot of hard one to take 
over with the goaltender and or right from the sides of the goaltender. That may be our thing that nobody would ever do. And now for the win for Kempe. Here's more to tie the shot. Shot saved by Gibson. And Byfield. This wasn't ever stop again. Anderson to Doughty. And that one gets redirected again. This one will be more. More shot. Saved again by Gibson. Tries to looking bad. That one went missed again. Anderson, way off the mark. Six minute mark coming in between Anze Gross and Anze Pocatong. Shoots again, saved by another defended player of the night, Josh Gibson. He's strong, gets again to Lotro. And this one gets over it. Kaya will have that puck in into the right zone. Here's Viala, shot went wide. Henry Koo, whoa, that will be close enough to call that. And he scores! And we have a battle now. Three way, short face off. Look who's back. Offer, Kaya. You know what happens, Kaya have a guy in the right. A biggest smoke at attackers. Really may have been a change off to that. Los Angeles are tied up with six, with 5.30 left to go. Now with the win, here's Eklund. And this team goes offside with only 5.23 left to go in the third period. Now we're going to win for the LA Kings, and here's the knock. Looking to make something happen in center. Henry Kuh takes the puck out of here. Five minutes remaining in the third period. Here's the note. Off again to Fiala. Trying to get back again to Anze Kopita. And now he finds Roy. Roy again to KF. Again to Fiala shot. Save again. Fiala again. Oh! Two time stop. This one goes off to Roy. He finds Kaya. Shoots. Stop your mouth, I can say. What a big stopping performance for the goaltender. That really may have been a hard one to take out. That is like a crazy one that everybody's been known for. Oh, yeah, that is. And now here's Roy. On a shot. Oh, almost went into the goal net. But that one stayed out of gear. That's close. I had nothing to say when it's going to happen like that. More! Saved again by Alex. Whoops. Sorry about that. I mean, saved it up again. And this one goes back to Kopitar. Here's another one. And Vitrano takes it up. Oh, yeah. Um. That's definitely uh, what the tail looks like. And Doughty will have it. Try to pass it in the middle. On the up. Kick the puck out of here with the gun. Josh Gibson save. This one's coming down toward the wire, and they need to get a goal to take the lead. Killarn. Stops the inbound. Here's the Byers. Finds the furry. Will it leave him trade up? Oh man! I think we do have a new goal range. La Fury with two goals. Well, this is what happens now. That goaltender think he didn't really think he was gonna be settled in there, but now watch what happened. That's what he does. It really has to be like a hard thing that that La Fury is making that goal. That appearances is like nowhere else to get in there. He finally dug that one out again. And I'm thinking that what happens to Luke DeBuyers, and this one keeps it staying out. That must have been a clear recently. That has to be like in transition before. And this was nowhere luck. 
that he would have had that goal right away, and he definitely knew. He definitely made that one a small room to take it. Here's the cross. This one gets carried off wide. And the, this one, and Ben Advantage is on. And here comes Lombardi. Take the deep puck. Went off wide of the net. This one gets pushed out. Back and back, and you did it all. Adrian Kempe brings the team to win, win the victory. On to the postseason. Well, that's it. You battle it out of here, and now you give it off to Adrian Kempe in the backhand to empty net. That one got a pretty good use of it. To battle it off, and now you win it. The Kings extend their lead up by two with 23 seconds left remaining in the third. And now with the win, here's Gudas. He's on his way down. Retreno finds Gillard, saved by Talbot. And the team of the Kings go wild. And that's going to do. They win! 8 to 6 is your final score. As for Talbot, welcome to the postseason. This really has to maintain this. All you can definitely say what Talbot really had to get this thing going. That's what you do. You bring him in, welcome to the team. I always give a great salute to the fans, and I gotta say, this was a lucky luck moment. Well, <laughs> say what you can do for lucky luck for next time's game if you can. I will. With me, OJ, along with the broadcasting partner of Nickel and Tyler Peace. We hope you enjoy this game and hope you have a safe ride home. Have a great night. All right, thank you very much. Time for three star plays in the game. The third star is unknown, as this one will be left off blank. The second star on the other side of it, as we start things off with Alex LaFurry. Two goals and three kits was taken down. Big receiver had that goal right inbound. And your first star player of the game goes to Adrian Kempe. With a goal, two assists, and five kicks. That's all you can bring down. And this one brings up a one-timer goal that you can settle it in. Here's how he did with the total statistics. 72 over 52 for the total shots on goal for the Kings. Then 60 over 40 for Anaheim on a kick. 805 over 607 was a time on attack for the LA Kings. 92 percentage here put up a passing in between the Anaheim and the Kings. Then the face-off wins was 32 over 20 for the LA Kings. And only two minute penalty kill was LA Kings, but no power play was given. So that about wraps this up. I hope everybody's enjoying your rival week and stay tuned. We've got all for you. It is the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs and this will be underway soon. I hope you enjoyed it, and now, this part of the game, we'll be back with next season for another Rival Week to keep your eyes peeled on. You'll see how this goes when this one comes in. And that's right, let's see how well the postseason is. Might be one change, or might be another thing. Who can ever know? And anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this one. Peace out, folks, for a while, as the NHL Rival Week on EA Sports Style. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on my social medias. Like the video and hit the comment and hit the notification bell. And it is the best way to support for the channel. If you don't, somebody will. Have a great night, everybody. See you all later for the post-game show. Post-season. So back to that later. Yeah, post-season. See you all for the post-season. Until then. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.